Hello, Internet. So, when I went to see Godzilla uh, last Friday, I experienced a movie trailer called, or for a movie titled Lucy. This trailer's been out for about a month and a half now. And it was odd. I'm going to react to it and I'm going to explain why I think it's odd. What happened? What did you do to my stomach? What's going on? We've merely slipped a new package into your lower tummy, and you're going to transport something very special to us. There, I'll stop right here. The first thing I found interesting was that I had heard that song before on a YouTube video. The video is titled Rebirth and it's by Seinfeld Spitstein. And it's... <laughs> it's... Uh, it's the red-headed kid from Jimmy Neutron. Hey, like it's it's on top of like a a, a weird-looking man body without genitalia and it's naked. I, when I heard the music from the Lucy trailer, Louie, Lucy, that's the first thing that came to mind. I was like, oh my god, I saw this in some sort of funny video. And so I started la like I started finding it entertaining in that, in that respect. I'll continue though. <laughs> Is she on the ceiling? Why is she on the ceiling? Wait, why are our eyeballs changing? Hey! You speak English? No, no, no. You speak English? Yes, yes, take me to the hospital now. Hospital. Somebody put a bag of drugs inside me. I need you to take it out. Leaking. It is estimated that most human beings only use 10% of the brain's capacity. <clears throat> this is where I have a problem with the movie. The fact that humans only use 10% of the full capacity of the brains is a myth, and it's been debunked by scientists, and it's been debunked for some time. Uh, the, the myth that people only use a small percentage of their brain, most often, like, I think it's most often reported 10%. It's, 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 it's fiction. It's a, it's a myth. It doesn't exist. Anyway, let's continue. Imagine if we could access 100%, interesting things begin to happen. Yes? Professor Norman, my name is Lucy. I That's the problem. research on the human brain. It's a little rudimentary, but you're on the right track. Thank you. When Morgan Freeman says something, you just believe him. Since when did you start Whoa. writing Chinese? Wait, what the hell's happening? What happens when she reaches 100%? I have no idea. All this knowledge, you can unlock secrets that go beyond our universe. I'm not even sure that mankind is ready for it. It's like all things that make me human are fading away. Okay, I don't understand how she can go, like, how using a bit more of your brain can, like, make you be able to change your eyeballs and float on the ceiling and move people around with your fucking mind and change your hair color and can see things come from the sky and... I don't understand how that could be possible. Ah, oh, my food's done. <laughs> anyway. I... The script is kind of bothering me, but the trailer, it, lo it looks cool, it looks good. 
I'm just really peeved about this whole 10% of the brain. It's like someone saying something that's demonstrably, like, untrue and passing off for fact and then just putting a whole movie based around that stupid concept or that stupid premise. It's like a slap in the face to people. Yeah, you're dumb enough. Psh, you'll believe this shit. No. No. They could have said, like, you know, perhaps... She got more connections between the neurons in her brain or something. Like, you know, be creative. That's, like, that's, ugh. Even in Limitless, they at least have, like, a... Okay! Oh. One second. It'll be, like, a, a few minutes for me. It'll be one second for you guys. I'm back! Just imagine some sort of a film where, let's say, some sort of alien, like, crash lands on Earth, grows up to be a normal looking person somehow. Somehow an alien race looks exactly like humans. Anyway, through some sort of bullshit, this human has like superpowers, like super strength and I don't know, maybe like something like laser vision, it can fly for some reason. Like it's like completely invulnerable to everything. It finds out his planet blew up for some reason. Anyway, and they start saving the day and has all these morals. It's 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 as if like they made a movie like that and you sit there like that's fucking silly. That's dumb. That reminds me of a movie though, I can't Maybe they moved, made a movie like that once. Anyway. I think sometimes you just have to accept a silly or stupid premise to a film because the film's not just about that premise. That premise is just a way to explore greater themes or human elements and especially when it comes to science fiction, not everything's going to be feasible and everything makes sense. But it goes beyond it goes beyond that and it explores themes and concepts, especially when it comes to humanity and ethical decisions that are really interesting. So I shouldn't fault this film too much for its its stupid premise. Because a lot of a lot of films can be dismissed for having stupid premises that don't make sense. Especially when it comes to films that deal with time travel like Back to the Future, Looper, Twelve Monkeys. That even the the X Men Days of Future Past that's coming out. Time travel films don't make sense. But we don't care as an audience, we just we don't care. We're there for other reasons aside from just sitting there scrutinizing the science of something or the feasibility of it or the plausibility of it. And those films were all good films in spite of its silly premise. Um, so I shouldn't fault this. And I, I thought the trailer was cool. The music was definitely cool. The editing was cool. So yeah, I generally liked this trailer. Aside from me being angry about the premise. I, I gotta look up that music though, that was cool. Anyway. Yeah. Oh! That's what it was. Dragon Ball Z. That film I was thinking of where the alien comes down to Earth and saves it and has all these superpowers and stuff and its home world blew up and you can fly and bullshit. Yeah. It's definitely, definitely Dragon Ball Z. It's Goku. Very original, very original idea. Nothing's ever been done like that before. Anyway, yes, this is all I have to say about this film. I am looking forward to it cautiously. <laughs> what did you think? Are you as peeved as I am about this premise? Did you like the trailer? Do you think it looked like, do you th I thought it was silly, but it, I, it looks fun at the same time and it's exploring cool things. So even though I'm conflicted, I'm still interested in what's going, like, what the film will be like. So, let me know what you think. Ah!